Today I'm going to show you how to create a match cut effect like box in DaVinci Resolve. And for that we are gonna need three simple things. We're gonna need a sound effect, a texture and a screenshot of the article that we want to match cut on. Now that we have everything let's start. We are gonna start with our sound effects. So we want more sound effects, these shutter sounds and the further they go the closer they are together so we get this effect of speeding up and how do we do that well it's re really easy since we already added our sound effect to the timeline we can just duplicate it infinitely so let's start we can duplicate it by holding down alt let's hold alt alt and click and drag yay we did it so now we have two sound effects now we have three, now we have four, now we have five, and we can go like this infinitely. So since we want the other ones to go, to go faster, we just click it here and drag it like this and just overlay it like this. Yep. And one more. Yeah, th this is good. So let's hear it out yeah that sounds awesome so what do we need next we need our screenshot let's just put in our screenshot like this it's in what do we want now we want to zoom it in so we go over to the inspector and just zoom it in to somewhere around 20 i would say let's just go with 20. okay so here we have the word money, but we want it to be centered. Every word should be in the center. How can we decide where the center is? That's actually pretty easy in the DaVinci Resolve. So we just need to do a couple of steps. So we are going to bring in the adjustment clip. After that, we are going to go to open effects here and go to search and just type in grid. Okay, we have our grid and we don't actually see anything like let's click on our adjustment clip and go to the effects here let's change line color to black great but there's just too many lines it's an easy fix so just major lines we don't need them column cells we can go down to two and the row cells can go down to two and we get this but as you can see they are just too big so just vertical line with 0 0.007 great let's do the same for it on the horizontal one and now we have the center now what do we do next we actually need to center our bird so let's do it click on our screenshot you see here we have the inspector but it's just it's not really quick to do it this way so just reset that You'll see this here. This is a free transform. So just click on it, click on the picture and just center it like this. Great. What do we do now? So since we want to match cut, we actually need to cut this picture just before the sound somewhere here. Nice. What do we do then? Let's get our plate head to here and let's then click on the next part of the photo. So we want to find another money word like this one here. How do we do it? Just click and drag and there we have it. So you see now it will just transition like this to this. It's great. And now we do it for every sound that we put in. So I'm done. Let's see how it looks now when we click play it looks something like this but now okay but now we have this cross in the center what can we do just click on the adjustment clip and simply delete it it's gone so let's hit again this is it okay great but what can we do to make it even better that's a question we can put the paper texture on it let's put the paper texture okay we have to zoom it out in a bit okay we just zoomed it in 
but now we don't see anything what can we do we can actually change our composite mode just go to overlay and now we have this paper texture on our image which looks great okay can we improve it even more actually we can and it's really easy so let's click this x here okay let's go to generators and let's go with solid color so what do we have now it just black color, color covered everything so okay let's go click the generator here and let's maybe change it to something like yellow okay we have yellow color what now now we can go to composite mode and let's go and find our multiply oh now we can actually see behind it what can we do now we can actually crop this yes let's just turn this transforming and we'll do it like this okay we are cropping it cropped up a great crop bottom great okay but what now look when you click play oh everything is good except those big words what can we do we can actually just got this here where the big word goes and just uncrop it to this side and this side and now we have something amazing as you can see okay that that looks so good but we can actually go a step further yes we can so how do we do that let's go back let's go to the effects let's bring in an adjustment clip okay we are gonna just hop on infusion for a second don't be scared it's nothing scary it's actually really easy once you start doing things in it so let's go to our adjustment clip open it in fusion open the fusion page we are in fusion yours maybe won't look like this because i have a skin on but okay so what do we have here we have media in and media out let's just open it on the center like this great okay media in is our adjustment clip so everything under our adjustment clip is our media in so let's go back to fusion media out is just we can project it back onto the timeline so okay what do we do now we can actually add blur so i just go click on media in click shift and space and we'll get this pop-up window open so we just type in blur it's very easy we have blur yes and it's on one now let's maybe put it up to three okay maybe three is too much Let, let's put it down to two just a bit but everything is blurred ground now and we don't want that we want our word money to be unblurred so it, it be in focus how can we do that with the layer mask so we are gonna bring in an ellipse tool and connect it to the mask effect in the blur okay oh look what happened now now everything in the circle is blurred and everything outside the cir circle isn't how can we change that we just go over to the inspector tab here and click invert so now everything in the circle is in blur everything out is so we just have to make the circle smaller okay we have our circle maybe if we just put the word money in it wouldn't look good but who knows let's try it out so let's just click pay okay our money the big monies are a bit blurred so let's just fix that and there we go now we have everything fixed let's go back to the edit tab 
and let's just click play let's zoom in and look at that it looks great we can actually do a couple of more things to it so i'll just do it off camera and you will see the final result